chicken stock. Check the chef's other recipes. You can learn how to make this. Chicken stock simmered with just a touch of vegetables as well. Not too much to keep it clear. Refer to the chef recipes on the website. A quick garnish for you today. I've got this awesome little uh, zucchini. I'm going to cut off the top and the bottom. It's minimal right there. I'm going to use a channel knife and put some markings down it. Very quickly, the second garnish. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that garnish is pretty cool. And that's a bunch of uh, slices for stir fry with a nice pattern to them. You can see that? Yeah. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Support your sponsor. Score all the tools that the chefs are using. High quality stuff. Yeah, right there. ChefDepot.com is the sponsor. You can get all this good stuff there. Uh, I specifically love the handmade Japanese knives. So many different styles and uh, types. This one here was made by the hands of a master and uh, there's a lot to choose from. Chicken stock for the recipe just follow the chef's videos subscribe and then search the word chicken stock and you'll find the recipe the finished soup with the garnish oh yeah look at that nice and clear little garnish thanks for watching please like share subscribe support your sponsor have a great day keep cooking All right, this is a very expensive handmade knife. That sharpener just hit the very bottom edge right there. You can see that, the only part that's wet. Dare I touch this? Well, yeah, it's really, really wicked sharp. Of course, uh, fine water stones will get it sharper, but just for speed, stage one, stage two is even finer. So you can check this out on the site. There's a lot of uh, good information, some videos, and you can score it right there as well. Anyway, that's the review. Keep your knives sharp. Keep cooking. Okay, when I oil a cutting board, I like to shake up the oil. It has some beeswax in there. And uh, just give it a squeeze like this, circular motion. And I use a plastic bag squished up. This is the best way that I've found to oil the cutting board. 